Dr. Wallace, talking about athletes, we've talked about a lot of the professional athletes. How about the younger ones, high school, college players? Are they at risk just the same way? Oh, absolutely. According to the Center for Disease Control out of Atlanta, Craig, a lot of these young athletes under the age of 30 drop dead each year while they're training, exercising, or participating in sports. I saw some figures earlier this month which said that the death rate from sudden heart attacks in young athletes has actually gone up by 10% in the last year. And so there's no nutrients of any value in Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Gatorade, and so forth, and water, just plain water. And so these young athletes wanting to get scholarships, wanting to get it into the pros. And as a result, they train hard. They do all the right things. They do what their trainers tell them to do. They just don't supplement properly. And as a result, a lot of these kids who are really professional-level quality athletes, even when they're in junior high and high school, these kids will get injuries that will kill their career. And there's nothing worse than these people training these kids, getting them up to the point where they are really superstars, and then a knee blows out or they tear an Achilles tendon or they get a shoulder injury, they get a back or neck injury, they get a finger injury, and they're pretty much done, and their whole life is ruined because their whole life was focused on these athletics. And these kids also have a high rate of depression and suicide because their whole life has been built around being the superstar of the neighborhood and the school. In fact, suicide in high school athletes is the single biggest cause of death in high school athletes. Wow, that's astonishing. Not to mention kids like that or young people like that blowing out a knee, they've just thrown away a lot of money. That's correct. Not only the investment they've already put in, but paying forward, so to speak, their future investment and their life, because they know when they excel and so forth and have all these benefits of the training and they have just natural talent. It's really a shame. And so I do make an appeal to parents and coaches and trainers out there who might be listening to get the information and give these young athletes a more complete replacement program so that if they do get injured, you know, if you run into a wall, you're going to get injured. You can repair quicker. The likelihood of injury is very, very slim, just simply by replacing everything you're sweating out. But, Doc, what if someone were to come to you and say, I have a son that's in football or does a lot of athletics or even a professional athlete, what would you tell them to protect themselves? Well, basically what they have to do is take a good basic supplement program that gives them all 90 essential nutrients plus the raw materials to develop properly and maintain and repair cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, bone matrix, lay down the minerals necessary for a healthy and happy bone. Also, instead of just using water or Gatorade or one of the soft drinks as a fluid replacement as they're sweating before, during, and after the events in the training session, a sports drink, it has amino acids, vitamins, electrolytes, major minerals, trace minerals, and rare earths in it, plus three time-release energy sources. Tastes very good, and it's a concentrate. Uh, you put an ounce of this into a quart of water, a liter of water, and sip on that. You're going to replace, you're going to trickle charge everything back into your system that you're losing as you sweat. And not only will this athlete reduce their risk of death and injury, but also their stamina is going to go way up. They will be much stronger in the third and fourth quarters. They'll be much stronger in the long-distance races in that last lap. They're going to be much stronger in any event than the opponents. Hi, I'm Theo Riley. I had just made the all-star team in Philadelphia. My career was on top, and I went up to block a shot, came down on my wrist, ended up breaking my wrist. They ended up trading me to the Atlanta Hawks. So when the Atlanta Hawks, I was covering from the wrist, I jumped up routine, going up for a rebound, ended up tearing the labor room in my hip. And, and you know, everything was just going all, all haywire. Well, I was almost in the midst of retiring, and I overheard Mike Glenn, who's um, talking to one of my fellow comrades, about minerals and mineral deficiencies. When we sweat, we sweat out of soup of minerals. So I pulled him to the side and told him, give me a little knowledge on what was going on and, and this, this mineral deficiency thing, because I think that's what I'm suffering from because I'm getting all these different injuries and I know I try to take care of myself probably better than anybody. I wanted to make sure I take the opportunity to not only help prepare my body for basketball, but to also prepare myself for life, to be able to be with my kids and play without injuries, to grow and have a long lasting life. Dr. Wallach helped me expand my career 10 extra years. Hi, I'm Dr. Wallach. Give me 90 days to see what my program can do for you.